What's going on, guys? This is Eric Johnson with RBM. This is episode four of NWA 2021. Um, let's just get to it here, man. It's gonna be fun as soon as I can fix this fucking mouse. Fucking weird, bro. But so in our pre-show match, because spoiler, we don't have any women's matches on the main show. You'll figure out why in like next angle. But Thunder Rosa, Cheerleader Melissa, Melina, and Lady Foss defeated Sh Serena Deeb, Jamie Jameson, Yuka Sakazaki, and Alicat. Oh, yeah. yeah, 1442 yeah. when Thunder Rosa pinned James Jameson with a reverse DDT. Uh, basically a scorpion death drop, but not as fancy. And this is something we pointed out before we started recording. Is Thunder Rosa had an entering performance of 57. Uh, that is Shocker. something I did not expect. And Serene Deep had a 50. So, I mean, yes, we'll still do Thunder Rosa and Yuka Sakazagi, but I'm a future Serena Deep and Thunder Rosa bout for the title. That's for damn sure. Um, you don't pay attention to much NWA, do you? Why? Because Serena Deep beat Thunder Rosa for the title. Oh. No, I do not watch it. That's why I'm booking it my way. I have no idea. My uh, it happens. We're going to have some words. Why? Uh, you're not making much sense. I mean, that's why I wanted to do the series. I didn't know nothing about it. Never mind. Let's just move on. Not as over as I thought, although Crimson could have apparently done better as a road agent. That's okay. That's the last time you're going to see him do an angle or anything. We, we honestly should have checked to see I if know. he would. Oh, well, whatever. It happens. Angle got the crowd hotter and off to a strong start because because the Flare Cup is now announced. And who will win the, fir who will win the first edition of the Flare Cup? Uh, the Flare Cup? The Flare Cup? Yeah, the first edition of the fly, because, see, you didn't type it all out. Oh, well, because it the uh, fucking character limit. Anyway, but that's not it, because the winner of the Flare Cup will not will get a title shot at the NWA World's title, but not just any title shot, a shot at the returning Darkade. That's right. Later on in, this year. in November. So, you have a good four months to build yourself up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, up until then. It's going to be quite interesting for the long term. And it is a 33. I thought that would do better. Let's go look at the first qualifying match. We got the Von Erichs going against Fred Rosser and Tyrus. So, because uh, the Von Erichs, they won, they will now both be entered into the tournament. That's right, but the Von Erichs did defeat Fred Rosser and Tyrus in 727 when Marshall Von Erich pinned Tyrus with a moonsault. And, of course, Tyrus was the weak link, but that is a-okay. Uh, let's see. We got a lot of green here, so that's good. And Marshall's also getting better at his gimmick. And got the crowd hotter. A good 40 to start off the show. And here we go. Also, uh, they also announced the main event is... In the first angle, it's going to be Nick Aldis and the Pope for a qualifying spot. So, get ready for that. Uh, and then Shane Aldis and, Shane, Shane Aldis and uh, Nick Douglas. <laughs> this next angle? I'm done. Go ahead. So, Shane oh, Douglas. Nice. Shane Douglas. You, you mean know. Shane Aldis. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so the duo, they're they're in they're in the interview space, but no interview because they don't need anybody to ask them questions because they know what's happened, and they say that Nick Aldis, they just found out that he's going to be having his his uh, qualifying match for the tournament tonight against the Pope, champion versus champion match. So don't so so you don't want to miss out on that. Who's going to be the one entering in the, the tournament? The world's heavyweight champion or the TV champion? Find out tonight. All that and also remember Shane Douglas in this interview did mention 
that you know, he's been watching Nick Aldis for the past three years, and he just cannot help himself. He just had to reach out to him and say he can help him be the franchise, show him how to be the franchise. And Nick Aldis, having so much respect for Shane Douglas as he does, said that he accepts. And they had this uh, partnership ready for the last couple weeks, they said. And, you know, uh, it just has so happened that Shane Douglas happened to be in the back that night last week to help Nick Aldis. Well, he's not going to say it like that. He's going to say he witnessed his great friend, Nick Aldis, win the, uh, retain the belt against that stupid, slimy redneck, Trevor Murdoch. And about it for that angle. Um, and Nick Aldis basically is like, yeah, man, this is, it was really great, my victory, let me tell you. Um, and I got a 41. Anything else? Before we forget, that tag match with the Von Erics, that was also a number one contenders match to see who would face the tag team champions next week. Yep. So it's going to be Aaron Stevens and J.R. Kratos going up against the Von Erics. Yeah. It's going to be quite interesting to see how that turns out. Mm-hmm. Next angle. Mr. Anderson and Ricky South. Rick, uh, Mr. Anderson already getting better at his gimmick and Mr. Anderson wins with the mic check. And I got a Ricky South also doing amazingly. Yeah. And I got a 38 and that really helps too. Mm-hmm. All that. Pretty good match. That's all it says. And a good match. I'll take it. So far we're in the forties for sure. And then a 56 promo by Mr. Anderson talking shit on Tim Storm. Yeah, he said he basically says, Tim Storm, I hope you win your qualifying match. Just so we can have the chance of meeting up so I can just, defeat you yep. and retire you. Because let's not forget, last week you said whenever we do meet up, whenever we do face off, it's going to be for your career. And I have to say, you will meet your fate when you get in the ring with Mr. Anderson, he gets on the turnbuckle. Anderson, a fifty-six, hell of a good angle there by Mister Anderson. Of course, he's at least getting one promo every two weeks or every week. And this guy's big mm-hmm. time for sure. Love his microphone skills in real life too. He's he's a real good talker, man. Uh, he's really underrated, honestly. Uh, Let's see. I feel like you should make more top fives. Honestly, every top five I see for the best talkers on the microphone in pro wrestling, he never makes a list. He definitely deserves to make the list on them. All right, so then I believe the tag match is up next, right? The other one? Yeah. So, Davey Boy's been waiting. Okay, thank you. So, he was waiting by the ringside, waiting for his uh, partner to show up. And it's Brian Pillman Jr. The Hart Foundation, they reunite, and they get the win, and they qualify for the Ric Flair Cup. Yep, they do qualify for the Flair Cup. And Marshall Rocket broke his collarbone. Thank God it was those two. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Marshall Rocket's going to be out for some time, you have to say. Ooh. Very marketable gimmick of a loose cannon. Ooh. Nice. We're going to say he's the one who broke his collarbone. Yeah. So marketable. Damn. Uh, I don't know what happened. I'm sure somebody fucked it up. Slice Boogie was the weak link. That's okay. Oh, that's got to hurt. Yeah, I know. Lance, fuck. Ooh, Brian Pillman Jr. did hurt him. <laughs> Way to debut, kid. Yeah, what a nice debut. Oh, well. Uh, this is just going to put over that he's a loose cannon. Yeah, you know, he's just fucking, yeah, sure. Yeah, a mistake makes you lose cannon. MV Young gets the win against Mims. Mims is fucking terrible. Oh, my God. Well, at least in this game he is. I'm not sure about him in real life. I've never seen him. But um, I had a decent reaction from the crowd and some par wrestling. MV Young defeated Mims in 836 after a distraction by his partner, man, Mr. Grimm. So now MV Young has also qualified for the Flare Cup. Yep, MV Young is in the Flare Cup. 
Uh, this is going to be a pretty interesting Flare Cup order. We've got the Vaughn Ericks. We have, who else do we have so far? We have the Heart Foundation. No, oh, there's someone else we're missing, I think. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Yeah, it's pretty, this is lining up to be a pretty good Flare Cup. And now for our main event of the evening, World's Heavyweight Champion versus TV Champion. Who will go on to the Flare Cup? Not until after. Oh, oh. Angle where Aaron Stevens and Jared Kratos are talking about their chances at the Flare Cup. And Aaron Stevens uh, was talking first. He goes, hey, you know, I, I cannot wait to, to win this Flare Cup and prove my legacy that I am one of the best wrestlers on this planet and of all time. And then J.R. JR Kratos goes, hey, don't forget, I'm in the. I'm going to be qualifying too. And Aaron Stevens is like, oh, yeah, that's right. Good luck to you, buddy. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to win the world's title at Starcade. He's and then Kratos is like, "Hey, remember we have a tag t- we have a tag title match next week too, so we're gonna be w- b- work- working double hard." He's like, "Oh uh, yeah," and then Aaron Aaron Stevens like, "Oh yeah, my bad." <laughs> yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, my fault. Man, it's gonna be a great night for me next week. And it's like, and and me and me. Oh oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah yeah that too. Thirty eight. And the Pope and Nick Aldis got a 50, and Shane Douglas did some good work at ringside. There you go. And about that fantastic heat and good wrestling. There you go. And a Tormentum wins Nick Aldis another match. Beating the TV champion. But after the match. After the match, Murdoch comes up. Don't forget. Don't think I forgot what the hell you bastards did to me. Shane Douglas, you stuck your nose in something that wasn't your damn business. But I see you guys are good, best of buddies. So I'm going to tell you what, Nick. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's not happening. <laughs> but, yeah, he's just mad. Uh, they both they both try to, like, they try to fight. But, uh, you know, and then an Envy Young comes out. And then all of a sudden, all four of them. Uh, it's like, I guess uh, Shane Douglas gets on Envy Young. Uh, Nick Aldis gets hold on, no. hold on, and then hold on. Before, security. Before you get ahead of yourself, we got to explain why Envy Young is out here. He kind of says, now Trevor, you look all hot and bothered right now. He maybe blows a kiss to a, to a female crowd member at this point. He says, but you can't look past me, because if you do win your qualifying match next week, you will be facing me in the first round of the tournament. And... Although I can respect a hunky man like you, <laughs> gets Trevor Murdoch all pissed off. He's like, I, I, I can guarantee you it would be your downfall to look past me. And same goes for you, Nick Aldis. By the way, how's your wife doing? <laughs> Nick Aldis gets super pissed about that too. And then eventually it's just the four-way brawl. Of course, Nick Aldis and Shane Douglas are fighting off MV Young and Trevor Murdoch when security comes down and rushes them. And break small up, and that will be the end of the episode. I think was a really now you're wondering why that says next segment. Well, we decided we're going to have interview segments. That's right. Vel- featuring Velvet Sky and Austin Idol is Half Hour Heritage. That is going to be our little interview uh, segment show at the end of every power. Um, this might be one week only. I don't know yet. So they basically they talk about oh wow what a what a night here tonight oh historic night Ric Flair heard it, blah 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 oh I can't believe can you can you believe that and the young came out and started hitting on literally everybody basically and Nick Aldis's wife who's watching at home I know that shit's crazy. And so they're going over all the events of tonight. But I, it's like I still see him. He's hitting on a group of females over there. And now, now the boyfriend's getting mad. Now he's hitting on the boyfriend. It's crazy. Boyfriend's taking a sweat. Oh, but Mister, what's his name? What, Mister Creed? No, Mister Mister Grimm. Mr. Oh, Mister Grimm stepping in. Oh, it's it's a it's an orgy. Yeah. <laughs> I got a 32. Okay. And then it would have been a 50 with MB Young and Mr. Graham, speaking of which, they come over and I think they sit here for about, I think I made it, what, eight minutes? Yeah, MB Young, he's drinking some orange juice after having a chaotic, a chaotic evening after the show. A orgy after that, yes. Yeah, needing some vitamins back yep. in his body. And, uh, 
It's a Paul M. Colt interview with Velvet's Austin Idol at 34. And, and the, um, why are you such a horn dog? Well, you know, it's not I about am. being a horn dog. It's being sexually free. <laughs> In fact, down, I don't just... want to be the only one being sexually free. I want everybody to be sexually free. Yep. I want but... all of us to fuck. Yeah, basically. Why don't we all get it on right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. no, no. <laughs> Velvet Sky, I mean, hey, it'd be nice to have you in one of our polyam se- sessions one of these days. Wouldn't you agree? Yep, so they try to invite, they, they don't want Austin Idol. They say he's too old. So they go for Velvet Sky. And, of course, she politely declines. She's like, uh, no. <laughs> and MV Young and Mr. Grimso goes, what a damn shame. Oh, what a shame. Yep, basically. And then the next uh, interview segment is Nick Aldis and Shane Douglas talking about Shane Douglas goes in depth of why he uh, picked Nick Aldis to represent him because he sees him as a franchise player just like he was in ECW. And, you know, he just wants to, uh, you know, help Nick Aldis achieve what Shane Douglas has so he could be right next to him and one of the greats. And then... Trevor Murdoch, of course, after about mm, six, seven minutes, he comes and goes, you son of a bitch, this isn't over yet. And he issues a challenge um, that, you know, I'm coming after that damn belt again. And this time I want you to, he, he asked for a cage match and he goes, and Nick Gulls goes, no, 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 no. Okay. You have to earn it again. And he's like, I right, deal. What do you want to do? And uh, Nick Gulls goes, I'll tell you what. What does he say again? It's going to be a non-title match. Go face me. Because it's going to be a non-title match because next week you're going to be facing me in a Texas bull rope match. Yep, and it's going to be quite interesting. And then Trevor Murdoch's like, let me think about that. Okay, I thought about it after like two seconds. He's like, you're on. How many- and then Nick always says something probably like, bring it on, cunt. <laughs> cunt. And Shane Douglas is like, are you sure you want to do this, Nick? He's like, yes, I'm sure I want to do this. And it's like, and don't forget, you also have a qualifying match. So you're going to be, you're, so you're really going to have to earn it. Yep. Trevor Murdoch's in a qualifying match. So you, not only do you want to be in the tournament, Trevor, but you also have to beat me if you want a shot at my title after the tournament. So. And Trevor Murdoch is like, well, unlike you, I'm not a coward. Challenge accepted, even with all these stipulations and added matches. Yep, I don't care if I got to wear eight matches to get to you on one night. You know, shit like that. Yep. So that brings our show to a close. Yep. Let's see what we got. We got a 49. Okay, that's not too bad. Honestly, it's probably a pretty good show. To, uh, yeah, to yeah, be well, fair. Was a good to show. Be fair. Yeah, that was a good show. I like it. Mm-hmm. All right. Come on. You know, you would think with all these 50s, we would gain more popularity. You would think so. You would think so. Like consistently pop, consistent popularity. Shit, take two day of long. But it is more challenging. Though. That's the one good side about it, I guess. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, we got some hostility between NXT UK and New Japan Pro Wrestling. And it looks like New Japan Pro Wrestling and Rev Pro, Rev Pro split. Uh-oh. Like I said, wrestling is at war right now. New champion and TNT. Hmm. We'll look at that one second. Let's see. So I want to see that injury on Marsha Rocket. Uh, 17 days out with a broken collarbone. That's it. Okay. No big deal. I think we can handle that. Damn. NWA Power 26 was shown. We got 57,000 viewers. So we lost about 2,000 from last week, which is fine. 
Uh, so let's see the size. Let's see where we're going here. Oh, God. Nothing, huh? Absolutely, positively, fucking nothing. My dog just came in. Nice. Oh, yeah. we're scratching How door. are we not gaining a fucking thing, dude? Hey, it's been only like a month, so. So Should've what? Should have went up one somewhere. Oh, God. All right, so let's go back to the news. You said a TNT champ? Yeah, exactly. Ah. Uh, wrong. <laughs> yeah, this one here. Uh, Mark Haskins won the TNT Extreme title. I don't even know who the hell that is, but he won it. Uh, we're good. Yeah. You know, one worker who's away. Who's away? Who's away? Uh, David oh. Finley Jr. I hope he can make the tournament. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me three. If not, we'll just replace him. All right. Let's uh, move on here if, and go to the next episode. For this episode. Oh, you, that's right. You want to show everything. Yeah, I want to show the news because this, this fucking news cycle gets interesting. Every day. I swear to God, something happens like every five seconds. And it's going to be on the night of a Friday Night Smackdown, so I guess we'll check that out, too. I guess. 22 minutes in. It's actually not that bad. Let's see here. Come on. Oh, the simulation's faster, then. Any minute now. Any minute now. Yeah, there you go. Jay Uso relocates to the Mid Atlantic and Shine upgrade their music level to generic. Okay. Let's see what happened on SmackDown. So the uh, the main event was actually Alexa Bliss defeating Oscar. Then we had Drew McIntyre defeating Angel Garza. That actually got a seventy six. Randy Orton defeated Shanky. Where did you see that? Between the interview oh, sessions. Shanky. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Who is that? He's uh, some dude from NXT, I think. He got called up, I guess. Uh, he's been on the main roster for a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> Shanky 19, dude. That's terrible. Fuck. Let's see why, how they got a 71. Alexa Bliss had a 69. Kana had a... Okay, so... Asuka had a 67. Okay. Uh, let's see Drew McIntyre Angel Garza. Drew Galloway had a 80. That's awesome. Garza had a 58. Corbin and Hardy had a 71. Or, I'm sorry. 67, my bad. Okay, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, look, see how Baron Corbin had a 64, and then Jeff Hardy had a 62, but how did they get a 67 on that? Uh, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I have no idea either. It makes no sense. All right, let's see here. Dynamite. Uh, never mind. I was about to say, I thought that was AEW Dynamite. Like, what? I don't know that company, so I don't think I care about... What's going on in CWFH? Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess next day. AEW Dark aired. And ROH Wrestling number 500. Coming up. All 
All right, let's see. Going to Sunday, I think. Ooh, there's usually a pay-per-view at the end. Mm. You know, this is going to be, uh, you know, uh, what, how do you say Oh, Fighter Fest was held. The MVP of the show is Orange Cassidy. Let's see what they did at Fighter Fest. Miro defeated Chris Jericho to retain, I think. Yep, to retain his TV title. The TNT title. Oh, wow. That was the main event? The main event at over. Match. Can you make it? Ooh, Orange, Orange Cassidy. Cassidy in a cage match? That's actually quite interesting. And Kenny Omega beat Orange Cassidy. Okay. Young Bucks retain their uh, tag titles against Proud and Powerful. Christian Cage and, uh, and Pac. Who won? I think Pac did. Oh, Chris Christian Cage did. Okay, well, what the hell is our entering ratings? Oh, okay, it wasn't too bad. And then we had Young Bucks and beat Proud and Powerful and FTR. Ooh, some 70s for the Jacksons. There you go. Hangman Adam Page and Darby Allen defeats the Pinnacle. Wow. And yeah, from World. Honestly, this would be a solid show real life, in real life. That was pretty solid, dude. I mean, dude, my favorite match would be Kenny Omega and Orange Cassidy. That is quite genius, actually. I don't know how the hell Orange... And a cage match, too. I know. That's pretty cool. I could, How did this only get six? I, I could see Orange Cassidy go uh, to the top, all right, on the, mm -hmm. and then like he just has both hands in his pockets and just falls backwards on top of fucking Kenny Omega. That'd be sick. Mm -hmm. BLP relationship change. Ooh, wait, who the hell's BLP? Black Label Pro. Yeah. Now they adopted a friendly attitude of us. Me, us, and Michael Blanton are gonna have a great. All right, now can we get a trade agreement with them? I think we already did. All right, so what else can we do to be super friendly with them? Yeah, see, we did. I don't know. I think that's about it. I'm not sure there's anything else to do. They have a very positive opinion of us. So now we can declare war. No, I'm just kidding. Uh... Uh, well, maybe they can accept of elemental workers. They're like, bro, you're slightly bigger than us. Know your role. What the hell's their size? Oh, yeah, they could definitely do it. Black right. in Ohio. They're not that fucking far. I got some. They're not that far from me. They're like a couple hours. <laughs> Probably go see them. Uh, let's see. We could do a worker trade. Kobe Durst. I want to get Lee Moriarty. You sent a contract to him. I did? Yeah, you did. Now you have yet to make a contract offer. Huh. Ooh, filthy Tom Lawler. That's a good pickup. Alex Shelley. Is Chris Saban in there too? No. I think isn't Chris Saban retired? 
I don't know why he would. Here, I'll look it up. I could have swore he got rid of it. I could have swore he retired. I could have sworn he was an impact at the moment. Yeah, no, I'm pretty... Yeah, yeah, no, he's an impact currently, I think. Yeah, he's teaming with James Storm. Ah. Uh, I thought he was done. He was done there for a minute. Yeah, he was done there for like a while, but... I guess he's back. Oh well, whatever. Split up from Velvet Sky. Yeah, that's not uh Yeah, see that? That's a Here maybe we uh bring in Chris Saban and Alex Shelley when we get to the uh what's it called? The the Crockett Cup. Yeah, I have Chris Saban on the short list. Mm -hmm. Only 39. He should still be there by the time we uh, make it, hopefully. Yep. Here, we should probably also make the event. Not the uh, Crockett Cup event, but the uh, Flair Cup, Cup yeah. event. Because, uh, yeah, hold on, let me look at the broadcasting deals real quick. Yeah, see, so that four events. Yeah, we'll have fight. Okay. I can do that. Okay, so in July. July. And the event. NWA Flair Cup, and we do it by year. Mm -hmm. Sure. Then three three hours. Hours. So three hours? Yeah, 16 matches would take three hours. Well, no, no, that, well, yeah, yeah, yeah 16 matches. Mm -hmm. I hope nobody breaks a fucking neck. And here, we just got to make sure that everybody's going to be available, so. Yes, yeah, uh, availability real quick for July. Oh, my God. Uh, is that a Friday? I think it's Friday week two. We could probably do that on. Good. God. Almighty, that's a pretty packed, action-packed action schedule we have there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good God, that's terrible. Uh, yeah, we should be good. We're missing David yep. Lee Jr., Gail Kim, and Jordan Grace again. Are, are we missing him the entire time so we won't even be able to uh, make him in the cup? Yeah, he's like, okay. He wouldn't be back till October, holy shit. Let me see some. Yeah, he should be. He should be able to make it to. Won't make the, it there. Uh, he won't make it there. He'll be back Thursday, week three of July. Then or the Flare Cup. So how about this, right? We have somebody else get in, but they get they get injured okay. or something like Perfect. that. Perfect. We're gonna have. We're gonna have uh, power. Hold on. We're putting power on Fridays. Okay. We're going to have it on held on Friday, and we're going to... What day do we show it? Tuesdays. Taping one show at a time. There. Uh, yes, I think that'll work. And when the hell is Flare Cup... Friday. Yep. Shit. Power's on first, right? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Jesus. I don't know how you do this. We have so many people not available every week, man. It sucks. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Here's I, I don't know goes. how you don't consider... When you just put something on Friday, and then you put something else on Friday, that it may be trouble. Yeah, because then we gotta, we gotta like be like, yeah, I want it. It's like, wait a minute, we didn't know this yet. <laughs> the people in the crowd, like, what? Okay, all right, we're gonna hold it on. We're gonna hold it on Sunday, and show it on Friday. Hey, I like that idea. 
Nah. Nope. That's too far, isn't it? Tuesday. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna take Yeah, but is anybody available to now do we have any scheduling conflicts on Tuesdays? No, no, because it's held on Sunday, but shown on Tuesday. Yeah, but so is anybody gonna be any scheduling conflicts on Sunday? No, that's why I did it. See? Every Sunday. David Finley Jr. on a fucking God! He's useless. Here, he'll be available on, for wait. the next power, I believe, wait. right? All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, okay, so it looks like we're missing Gail Kim Jordan Grace again. And now Yuka Sakazaki. Yeah, that'll be fine. We're a cup on Friday. Okay, here we go. Everyone's available on that Sunday. That Sunday's good. And then David Finley and Yuka's gone. Okay, fucking A, dude. I think it was a bad idea signing David Finley Jr. No, it's cause he just works a heavy schedule. See, a lot of Fridays are good. We have to keep it on a Friday. Okay, let's just go back to what we had it on. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I know, man. I don't know. What do you think is a good idea? Not, uh, I need a minute to think because yeah because let's see when is David Finley available see David Finley's missing that Friday Wait, hold on he's let's see but when is it what, what, is, what is the WA power schedule or what did we have it at held when when did we originally have it held on we had it originally it was supposed to be on Tuesdays, but you see. Yep. I think it was taped. Well, so, okay, we can put the Flare Cup on a Sunday week three. Uh, We could. We could. Okay, let's do that. All right, so the end of the day. Good, good. Meaning we have three more powers, right? As of right now, everybody's good for all these dates. Okay. Now let's move on. God, that was fucking crazy. Dude, I was fucking having a stroke trying to figure this shit out. Okay, we're going to add the Heart Dynasty real quick. Our Heart Foundation. Correct? You didn't add him. I thought I did hit it. Yes, I did. It's your damn mouse. Why is it not on there? I hit it. Here, just try it again. It's not there anymore. What the hell? Why aren't they there? I just saw them. Wait a minute. Oh, active only. Hold on. Okay, that's why. They're inactive. Okay. Shouldn't it be a unit or individuals? Should we make them individuals? Sure. Okay, there. No, because... Wow. There we go. All right, now let's get to it. Can we keep going now? Yes, we're good now. Any events today? Is there anything going on? W like WWE wise for June? Probably Hell in a Cell. No idea. We already had Hell in a Cell. I'm saying them. I don't know how to sell uh, Money in the Bank. Virgin. We had Hell in a Cell a few weeks ago, so we probably won't have money in the bank for a while. Uh, Walter's gone from WWE? Ooh. Oh. Never mind. So, Get your hopes up. Guys. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> they fell in size. <laughs> we established this yesterday. Or not yesterday, because you fell asleep. Uh, we established this last episode. Got it. Yeah. Touch your whore mouth. Mm, around your penis? Yes. The, gr the gremlins. Roman Reigns and King Corbin. The fucking gremlins. Why are they gremlins? <laughs> what the fuck? Then we got Sabaraha. We got Gender Mahal, Rinku, and Shane. That's actually not that bad. Yeah, that's an actual staple. Oh, really? Yeah. Rinku and Shanky. Ooh, okay. I didn't know that was an actual stable. I don't watch fucking WWE anymore. <laughs> Clearly. I don't watch WWE anymore. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't either, but I still pay, somewhat pay attention. I do not pay. I don't like their product. I can't. I like AEW ten times better. I like MJF's little challenges, though, for Chris Jericho. He has to, like, face all these legends and shit. Yeah, and... He faced Nick Gage. I haven't seen Hoovy Hoov yet. I gotta see Hoovy. Um, from uh, last Wednesday. Yep. I'm going to the show in Pittsburgh this next Wednesday. So, oh. A lot of fun, dude. I can't wait. AEW is one of my favorite fucking products. I don't care what anyone says. That's right. I know AJ Styles is one half of the tag champs of some dude I like never heard of. Omos? Yeah, he's actually pretty sick. Is he? Yeah. Good to know. Did did, did he even was he even on NXT? Uh, I I forget, maybe. Or did he just get a what the fuck, mouse? Jesus Christ. I'm getting pissed. Okay, it's him. One day. The Gremlins. Can't wait to sing along to all my favorite theme songs. We all know that we're going to sing along to Chris Jericho's theme. And now Tarzan Boy. I'm so glad they got that song on the off the copyright. Oh, here we go. Wrestler of the year so far would be Tatsuya Naito. I believe it. Oh, remember how we said that it was like, oh, wow. Well, you know how they just put like all these Japanese wrestlers in it for these awards? They, they do every time. So Naito, let's see, Company of the Year. New Japan. Yep. <laughs> team of the Year, some Japanese someone, team. Someone from New Japan. Yep. Yep. <laughs> match of the Year, uh, New Japan match. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Show of the Year. Well, hold on, uh, hold on. Let me know, guess. Let me guess. I'm just going to take a shot at the dark for Show of the Year, okay? It's going to be a New Japan show. <laughs> I did. Young wrestler. I feel like this moneymaker is just sucking yeah. New, Jap New Japan's dick. No, this happens in every fucking database. It's because all the smarts make all the databases, and New Japan, oh, it's so great. I know. Young wrestler of the year. Here we go. Here we go. We all. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say it's a New Japan wrestler. Blue Panther. Is he wrestling in New Japan? Oh, CMLL. Here we go. Fine. Oh. What a wow. change of pace. I know. They were like shit. They're on All the right, rest. here we go. Veteran wrestler of the year. It's got to be Hiroshi Tanahashi. <laughs> yes! I got it. <laughs> oh, I, I just took a shot in the dark. <laughs> All right, female wrestler of the year. It's, it's going to be I, some, some Joshi woman. Or yeah, it's going to be someone from the Joshis. Hey, yep, told you. Sukasa Fujimoto. Yep. The seed lining and ice ribbon. Yep. Independent wrestler of the year so far. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. Uh, Chardonnay. Wow. I'm not from Britain. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of jarring when it's not somebody from Japan. I know. Really, it's like a surprise. Now, who's the commentating team of the year? Oh, Chavo Guerrero's retiring from the in ring. Oh. Oh, we got to have him. Let's see if we can talk about a retirement. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. He's 50. I didn't know he was that old. Holy shit. Hey, you know, you're right. Maybe it is time to retire. <laughs> He's like, I f just fucking said so. <laughs> I know. You fucking idiot. Here we go. I'd like you to reconsider. Uh, move closer. Fuck you. Just make yourself a wrestler. Just make yourself a stripper. What do you think of that? How about let's get to the next episode of uh, NWA Power. All right, we got a few more days. Brian Pillman actually left MLW. What the fuck? Yeah, he was out on the outs with them. NWA finished number three of four in the Southeast Regional Battle. What? Sky Blue's back. Okay. Uh, let's see any shows. A big time independent, oh, independent wrestling. Okay, that's cool. So kind of like WMMA five, small local shows or large local shows. So this is big time indie wrestling. Okay, cool. I like that. That's nice, isn't it? Sure. Those twins. Who the fuck is that? Other real people. Oh, from Defy. Okay. Oh my god, Space Monkey. That's fucking sick. I love Space Monkey Canadian, so much. We got a Canadian independent wrestling show. Uh, Montgomery. Uh, it's in Montgomery, Alabama. Okay. I like how Carly Perez and Thunder Kitty were the main event. Like, what? No wonder it got a 14. <laughs> Let me say something. Wait a minute. They outdrew oh, us. Oh, I see. Women's independent. Okay. They outdrew us. What about these guys? I had a thousand people. Holy shit. So you mean to tell me some independent wrestling shows can outdraw us, man? What the fuck's the point? Even though they're infinitely more shit than us? That's terrible. Nah, let's see what this Monday Night Raw does. I'm just disappointed. I'm ready to shoot myself. Then I'd get the channel. Yep. Ready to fucking just take the revolver after seeing. Yep, and one must vote for Joe Jorgensen. Yep. All right, come on, bastard. I just want to see what happened on this. One last libertarian out there. Yeah, I know. That's the last thing you need libertarian votes dying away, right? Yep. Come on. Okay, let's see. Edge has a new catchphrase. What? Oh my god, Edge invented a new catchphrase. I wonder what it would be. Cooter, cooter. Hmm, that's pretty funny, isn't it? Edge doesn't invent catchphrases like you suck for Kurt Angle, and it's still resonating to this day. So, all right, let's see what happened on Raw. Now, where did Edge debut this? Okay. Okay, this is catchphrase debuted right here. That's why it got a 77, obviously. Okay. Bray Wyatt and Cesaro defeated AJ Styles and MVP. Pretty Cesaro had a 77. Are you serious? Wow. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sami Zayn and Dirty Dogs defeated Shinsuke Nakamura and the Viking Raiders. 
Interesting. Okay. Uh, and Biggie and Keith Lee. Holy shit, what a team that is. What do you think of that? Monstrous. Sure fucking is. God damn, dude. Big E and Keith Lee. When that's what's up. I don't know why Chad Gable's in this match. He's kind of like the fucking underdog here, you know, in this tag match. Jesus Christ. One of them does not belong. I know. Jinder Mahal and Ron, Ron Killings. Um, obviously, Jinder Mahal has to win that. Come on. Yeah, former WWE champion. The Golden Role Models. Oh, I see what they did. I see why they're called the Golden Role Models. They defeated Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose, even though Baylor and Sasha Banks' picture is right there. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know. Is that what the Sasha Banks got a 77 in a match she wasn't even part of? See, I would think they would be called the Golden Role Models because they, you know they're both blonde. I don't know. Oh well. Yeah. Mustafa Ali defeated Titus O'Neil. Okay, interesting. Damian Priest then defeated Commander Peace. and Ricochet defeated Rinku. That's okay. And a cage match. Hold on, a cage match. Oh, shit. They got a heck cage match on Raw. That's what's up, dude. That's what's up. Yep. Triple A is hiring right now. Right, right. Next day. Tuesday. What wrestling's on Tuesday? Um, you mean wrestling your mom's pussy? Good to know. Not as good as your mama. Okay. okay. Highly original. I know. I know. Yes. I keep hearing the Rugrats theme song every five seconds. I don't know. Maybe you should get that checked out. I should. Tyler Breeze just got recalled. Let's see the main event. Austin Theory. Defeated Finn Balor. Wow. Putting over Austin Theory. I just want to see who this guy is. He was up with Seth Rollins on the main roster. He was in his, like, kind of cult at Monday night side thing. And then uh, he got Me too And then he is back in NXT with Johnny Gargano. He got Me too <laughs> to find that. Uh, so accusations were thrown. And he, he wound up in NXT being a supporting role to Johnny Gargano. Uh, it sucks. That's right, NXT's on Tuesdays now. What the fuck? Man, whatever. Yeah, it's uh, I guess NXT decided, okay, AEW's better than us. Move to Tuesdays. Yeah, um, I think, it, I forget if it was ABC or NBC, but they said, they went to events and said, oh, look, we're getting killed by AEW. We're going to have to move shit. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to move ship if you don't, like, fucking do... It might have been a... I forget, but... They said, look, we're losing. Let's cut our losses. That's fucking awesome. If you ask me, that is fucking sick. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, that's right, it's July 4th. You see the internet support. Internet support? Oh. Most entertaining wrestler in the world, of course. Why don't you go somewhere? You're, 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 you came out of retirement, go somewhere. I know, he's just been sitting there. 
Wait, is that the WXW? No, nah, never mind. Wrong WXW. All right, AEW, what'd you do? I don't know. I just want to see, don't you? Miro defeated Darby Allen and Matt Hardy in a ladder match. What a fucking main event. <laughs> Holy shit. Who the hell is Cesar Bononi? Uh, a job at Chris Jericho, of course. Yeah, he had 35. It was still a good match. 71. Chris Jericho carrying him. Uh, MJF defeated Sean Dean. Okay. Uh, we had Scorpio Sky and SCU. I don't know why they're not all SCU, but defeated Joey Janela and Alex Reynolds and John Silver. Let's see. Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian, Scorpio Sky. John Silver actually had the highest fucking in-ring performance, believe it or not. That is crazy. Yeah, John Silver is pretty good. I can see that. Thunder Rosa defeated Mel. Kenny Omega won an impromptu brawl with Christian Cage. Okay. Chris Jericho got the upper hand in a short backstage brawl with John Moxley. Okay, so... Okay. okay. Opening up the show with a couple backstage brawls. All right. Then we got some match take segments of Britt Baker, Orange Cassidy, and individually the one each young buck got a angle themselves. I love my brother. Yeah, I love Jackson. him too. Love <laughs> That's the whole angle, right? Matt Jackson goes, I love my brother. They're like it cuts to Nick Jackson. I love him too. All right, we got a match with Chris Tallender and Penelope Ford. And then that match, and we got a backstage segment with Pac. I guess he's, like, jerking off or something. Then Sting gets an interview. You would have thought that it got a 64. He's caressing his bat. Yeah, he's just like, you know, bat, that was a good question. Let me answer it for you. <laughs> and then an interview with Paul White. Okay, all right, I see what's going on here. Yeah, it could have been booked a little better. It definitely could have. Jesus Christ. The fuck were they doing, man? Nothing. Some independent wrestling from Atlanta. Ja Jazz was on the show? Holy shit. It's Rachel Ellering. That's what's up. Paul Ellering's daughter? Elijah Burke? What the hell is he doing on an independent wrestling show? You know what the fuck? You're, you're a TV champion. Did he Did he what? I said, where's he at? I just swore I just seen him lose. Oh, no. Okay. He was on the team that won. War Beast. Thank God. I believe these guys were the boys with uh, Dalton Castle. The I believe so, too. Boys, boys, boys. Dude, I think that should have went to MV Young, that chant. Boys, boys, boys. That shit would have been funny, wasn't it? Oh, God. All right, next show. And I think we have our shows on Fridays now. God damn it. Yeah, one more. One more. Bitch. How long is this episode, seriously? One hour. This is this must be the most boring thing for the audience. What? Knowing what's going on in the world? Yeah, I mean we could easily tell them this. In recaps. I guess. I guess we could. <sighs> Got some Kyle O'Reilly stats. Here we go. <laughs> Also, just a reminder, I'm leaving for New York, so we should probably get as much done as possible. Fuck you. Tom Waller signed. Heal. And that's it. Social media success. 
Lizzie Evo has won praise online after a person responding to a schoolgirl fan on social media who's suffering with self-esteem issues. Talking about the importance of body positivity. Oh, God, it's one of these. Evo sent regular messages to the girl, helping her through a difficult patch in her life. The girl made the conversation public with permission in order to help others. Interesting. All right, well. That's Ooh, Impact Wrestling was on tonight, and so was MLW, and so was NJPW. We'll see you next time. Yep.